Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna have some fun with some bismuth. And these are my kilo bars of bismuth. You can almost see a little color on there, but not much. And we're gonna melt this down and make some crystals. I did pick up one crucible, just a basic heart. And we will have to preheat that with this uh, benzene torch. And another cool tool, we need a temperature gauge so we can make sure it's at least 520 degrees. That is the melting point of bismuth. You will need a metal spoon, preferably steel. That way you can scrape off the slag and you will need some steel tongs. And these are gonna be in order to pick up the crystals once they're all melted. Don't forget eyeglasses and gloves are a must. All right, let's get to it. Okay, I've gone ahead and turned on the stovetop, and this is safe to do inside. You probably want a fan on. I have my door open as well, just to get a little fresh air, but the bismuth is non-toxic, so this is gonna be safe to work with. Now, while this is melting, we do need to watch the, the heart over here because I'm gonna have to preheat this. All right, got a different angle here. We are at 390, 330, 350, okay. Oh, look at the bottom though, it's starting to puddle. I wonder if that will let me read. Well, it's definitely hot enough down there. 600, 575, just the top of the bar yet. Okay. Should start melting. Oh, that's cool. It's starting to puddle. The puddle's hot enough. Oh, oh, there it's going. It is going. Okay, we're melting it down. Got some T2000 liquid going in there. For all you Terminator fans. All right, it is time. We have got the temperature gauge here showing definitely over 700. And our mold, eh, it could be warmer. It's about 300. Oh well, we're just gonna pour it and see what happens. Oops, well, let's see if we can get a little jiggle on it. It cools down way slower than silver does. Look at that, you can still see the ripples being made on it. Okay, I'm gonna dump it out. Maybe. It's almost. There we go. All right, there's my first heart, first pour ever. Turned out pretty good. Okay, we we'll take it, put it in a little water. That should cool it down quick. Well, look at that, I made a heart. Not too shabby. Whoa, gonna drop a heart. All right. I'm going to put this off to the side. Okay, I've let it sit for a few minutes. Now we're just waiting for the cool down cycle. <laughs> Look how cool the tons are already. They're getting all sorts of crazy colors on them. 
Okay, it has been eight minutes. Just to show you, I'm gonna gently jiggle this just ever so slightly. So you can see that it's still molten. And it is working on making those crystals. So we'll wait a few more minutes. Okay, we're getting near the end. And I did take the tongs and kind of scrape along the whole outside to break it free. And boy, look at all the cool colors. All kinds. It is still liquid a little bit. So we're right here at the end. We're just gonna wait, not long at all. We're gonna start hopefully pulling out some crystals. So let's let's just try one and see what happens. We'll try a small one here. Mm. Not quite a crystal though. There we go. There's a little bit. That's a good one. Oh. All right, now we're gonna go to the back here. Let's see if we can get this bigger one. All right. Well, these are really short pieces. I've got the second kilo bar in because we needed a little more depth. Look how cool that is. It's melting away. Thank you, Grim Metals, for the bismuth. I'm having too much fun. All right, they always say third time's a charm, so let's find out. Now, some gentle tapping. Okay, everybody, we're back. We're done pouring. That was fun. I believe this was the first one I did. Honestly, I don't really know. So if you notice, I tapped it a bunch, and that's why it has all these striations in the heart pattern. But yeah, this was the first one I could tell because it had a little extra right down here. Way cool colors on it, though. And on the back, it does have a little rainbow toning. Not a lot, but that's a fun piece. And we might have to go through uh, all of them because these are so cool. Now this one I tried pouring out, I was trying to actually create the crystal structure inside. I've seen that done before, but on something this small, it's almost impossible. And it has a little toning on the outside there. Okay. Now this is another one that did the tapping, and you can really see the colors come out when you tap it. And these take so long to tap compared to silver. I mean, I see them tap three or four times, and... They're done. This thing took, I don't know, 100 taps each time because it cools down so slow. And they're so dense. Each of these weighs between 70 and 80 grams, except for the hollow one, of course. And they all kind of have a different pattern on the back. There's another fun one. It's great to be able to touch bismuth just with your bare hands because it is non-toxic. So right here you can see that this is right where we stopped pouring, so it kind of puddled right there. And we didn't tap this one. It still turned out cool. Then another one that was not tapped was this one. And if we didn't tap it, we also decided to let it cool down, not in the water bath, but just natural cooling. Didn't really notice much effect, maybe a slight bit more color on the back though. Cool. All right, let's take a break from the hearts and show off some of these weird crystals. And look at this, this is so delicate right now, it's bending. Okay, this is actually just leftover slag. It just dumped out, I just thought it looked cool. Colorful on one side, but on the other, it's just the, the chrome kind of silver. 
And look at the size of this monster. Didn't quite get the structures I was going for, the crystals, which means it didn't cool down long enough. Still fun, because this is what we're going for. This is if you probably have a kiln and you can let it cool down long, and you also have to have something deep in order to put this in, like a crucible. The pan was really wide, and so I don't think it was able to make these crystal structures going down. We did have some crystals, so let's take a look at those. Look at that one. That's a blue one. Boy, it is really blue. In the back, just a little gold. Okay. And here's one of our small crystals, but it's nothing like it's supposed to be. See, here's a geometric kind of design. This was actually just pulled out too early. It didn't have a chance to form all the way. But you could still see that they're very similar. Ooh, I like this one. It's kind of got the purples in it with the gold. That's a fun one. And now all these, if I want to, I could just melt them right back down. No big deal. Like this. Look how thin this is. This was just a little piece of extra on the baking sheet. All right, let's see how delicate it really is. Pretty delicate, pretty brittle. Here's a good chunker. It's got some colors on it. It's lacking the 3D structure, though, because really I was just grabbing this out of the pot at the end. And that's what it's going to look like. More like this. Just something unique. Hey, how do you catch a unique kitty? Unique up on him. <laughs> All right, there's your dad joke for the day. Let's take a look at some more hearts. That one's a little different. Hmm. Fun. All right, so this one, we were kind of trying that again by scraping it out while it was cooling to get some crystals in there. And it did get some cool color, but it didn't quite make the crystals. You could tell we were definitely tapping this one a lot. But it was fun. And then they all have different little colors on the reverse. Isn't that fun? All right, well, that's business. Now I have a whole bunch of hearts left over and a really dirty pot. In fact, let me grab the pot real quick and show you guys. Okay, this is the pot. And check out all the colors still in there. And it's a little warm still, it's not hot. But since this is going to be my pouring pot, I figure I'll just leave it in there because I don't know how to get that out. That's the bottom of the pot. But look at all the cool colors in there. That's sweet. Okay, everybody. It's been fun. This right here, though, this is my first poured piece. So that goes down in the history books. A little bismuth poured metal for Wild West Stacker. That was some fun. My crystals didn't turn out that good, but hey. We had fun. That's all that matters. We learned some cool stuff. All right. Well, the premiere train is still rolling. So please follow the link in the chat. And let's get this train going. All right, guys. This is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.